Do they just leave to have kittens? I'm so confused. I am so confused. Guys, Frankie is leaving us. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Sims 4 Dreamhouse. And it's also the first episode where we've actually got Jesse, Roxy, and the family in the Dreamhouse. If you guys don't remember, Jesse and Emily made a deal that because Jesse's now trying to hide an alien and it's probably not the best place to do it in the city. And since Emily and Taylor wanted to get to the big city themselves to further their career, they'd kind of house swap for a while and see how things go. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this episode. It's gonna be the first time we're gonna be playing in the Dreamhouse with these guys, and it's also gonna be the first time we're really properly to get getting to know little Luna as well. Our little alien stowaway that came back with Jessie on her last mission into space. So if you guys are excited for this episode, don't forget to give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see from this series and let's play some Sims 4 Dreamhouse. <gasps> and as soon as I get to the house, I actually see... Oh wow, look at that. She sneaked that in as I'm in build mode. She thinks she's not smart enough. She's been trying to do homework for the, first, for the past few assignments. I felt hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Well, Luna, you're an alien and you're used to alien homework. So I'm not surprised you're a little bit confused. Why don't you focus on the subjects that you actually like, okay? I don't, I wouldn't really say that she should get tutored because they want to keep her as low-key as possible. She did lose a little bit of responsibility for that. But I noticed these as soon as I got there. So I'm like, ah, we don't want Christmas decorations up anymore. I am going to get rid of those. I also did quite a lot of combining of mods recently. So I'm a little worried, you know, that there may be, there may be some kind of a... Uh, items removed but things look okay for now at least and then the other thing i was thinking is where is everybody's bedroom gonna be and in my head i kind of think it would be nice for luna to get a little bit of an idea of what a human little girl's room would be like and i think little faith's room is probably a really good room to start that on i don't think luna will have a huge amount of her own tastes yet she is still kind of like she's still kind of get, trying to get used to earth and what earth feels like so I think just moving straight into an existing room and trying to get a feel for it could be a nice way to go. I'm going to get rid of this now because we don't have a puppy here anymore. However, I will keep the bed in case uh, little... No, I was going to call it Mojo. Little Frankie feels the need to come in and kind of get to know Luna a little bit better. The one thing I was thinking though, is there any kind of cool spacey sort of stuff we can put on the walls? We already have this space uh, project, which is actually going to be really handy. That is something that I think we built with faith potentially with Ali and Claire so I'm gonna keep that in there because I think that's kind of a perfect sort of integration to for her for space but I was kind of looking to see if there's anything else we can put in there that's gonna give her that kind of spacey vibe because you know I want her to feel at home so stuff like a mobile with stars and stuff on it I think is gonna make her sort of feel very much spacey and then I have this little uh, alien toy that I think she will like as well I can put that on the bookcase for her See, there we go. I feel like robots she'd probably be quite used to as well. And then I'm feeling like this this um, toy chest has very alien vibes to it. So I think that would make her feel at home. I've got this little spaceship sort of uh, little painting that she can have there. There's one here that I want to use. But it says reach level 2 of the scientist career. Which, you know, we've definitely done. And then I think the other thing is, all the rider looks like he's having lanigans on this. Obviously, we need to get a spaceship one now, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead. I shrink it a little bit because I find it a little bit too big. Put this little spaceship in there so that they can play with that in the garden. Got sort of like a little galaxy thing I'm gonna put above the window there. It's not quite as much space stuff as I was hoping for, but at least we've got a few little bits and bobs in there for her. Oh, look, I've got a little gnome that's dressed as a space thing. <laughs> and then though we currently have this um, sort of like doctor set that was very faithy i kind of feel like an alien would be quite at home with a science set i know i have to be careful because it can accidentally set them on fire but i still think it's a pretty pretty good thing for her to have and i'm also gonna buy this little space set for her to put together a solar system project just little things that i think are gonna make her feel happy and finally i've got this little journal for her with sort of like little little spacey kind of stuff on the front i don't think she's very princessy so i'm just gonna remove the these little bits just so we can keep her room a little bit more like 
a little bit of her. Swap this bed out, I think, for a little purple one. Make this blue so it looks a little bit more spacey. And then I thought this wallpaper kind of looks quite spacey. I just want to make her feel at home, you guys. Or at least feel like she can escape to her little bedroomy version of space. Okay, guys, I, I used an unlock cheat so I could get this space picture. Because I just feel like she needs a picture of her people in her room, you know? Okay, so I think her room is looking very cool. A little bit more lunar-esque. And then we need to make right this room into more of a rider style room, don't we? I'm keeping the pictures there because I feel like Claire's picture should never be deleted. But I can definitely change some of the rest of this stuff. Because he had quite an animal horrific sort of room before. But saying that, he is going to be a teenager soon. So I don't want to go to... I don't, I don't want to make it a complete kids room when we're going to be changing it fairly soon anyway. So one thing I can't actually find is Ryder's little rabbit. Remember we had like the pet rabbit? It was like a Life is Strange park. And I have no idea where it's gone I'm afraid you guys. I may have to investigate that and try and get it back because right now I just can't see it anywhere. But I've added some more stuff. It's kind of hard to tell because it's, uh, it's a little bit dark in here. But this is going to be like his little homework area. I did end up giving him his wallpaper back. But he's kind of getting ready to start to grow up potentially in this episode or next one. And then I do need to give him like his little activity tables. But oh, his pictures are all on the wall in the old place. <gasps> I may have to see if we can visit and try and get some of that stuff. Because I definitely want him to get that stuff back. But what is actually really cool is he is like a little artist. And he now has the room that Claire did a lot of her artwork in. It's kind of emotional, but it's sort of nice because it means, you know, maybe he will start to take after Claire's footsteps even more and become more of a little artist for himself. So the other room I'm just going to quickly do a few tweaks to is, of course, Jessie and um, Roxy's room because they have a, a little bit of a specific style that I don't want them to lose. So I'm going to try and get that back a little bit, such as... You know, the bit of a darker sort of walls and that sort of a thing. They have their own unique, I would say, taste. This is also creepily the room that Claire died in, so I'm not sure how they're going to feel about the hopper. Fair, it's not actually a million miles away from their kind of style anyway, which is pretty cool. There we go. That's looking a lot more like those guys. They've got Emily's beauty table here, which I don't think they'll complain about. They have got a gym here, which I only just made. But they're a bit more sciencey, aren't they? They also most definitely need a piano. Kind of wondering where's a good place to put a piano in the house. We have a bit of room here now. So that actually could be a nice place to set up a piano, couldn't it? There we go. So we will keep the grand piano. Hopefully they can get to that. It's a little bit in the corner. But there we go. They've still got a grand piano. And then they also need the guitar, don't they? There we go. They've still got both of those. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to Rocket. It's the first time we've done this. And I'm going to get an Apollo rocket ship. And I'm trying to feel like, is there a place in the garden we can sort of... If I move some of these trees... Oh, you know what, actually? I bet what she would do is put it slightly out the lot. This lot is huge. Like, I actually kept some of the garden here like this. I think I'm going to put a little archway in this. So we can access that back garden a little bit easier. Like, just like so. That's nice. Maybe another one down here as well. And then this is where Jessie is going to build her rocket ship. I'm going to put like a few trees around it. Just to kind of hide it from prying eyes, you know? There we go. I think that, that kind of hides it a little bit from people that might be walking by. You don't want anyone to know that she's building a rocket. So there's now a new little forest in the back garden. Oh my gosh, look at those trees. How beautiful are those? And this is where Jessie will build her very own rocket ship. She doesn't have Jay to help her this time, but still. And then the final thing, a little change I need to make to this house, is quickly Mojo... Uh, not Mojo, again. Uh, Frankie is going to need a little scratchy post and stuff back. In fact, should we get her the full, the full collection? This one is a very styling colour. Uh, where is a good place to put it though? I like the idea that if they're hanging out in the in the living room, the cat is hanging out with them. I know it's quite big. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit big and garish actually. We can get a slightly smaller one. There we go. We've got a little cat play thing at this side of the table here. We've got a nice little scratchy post over here. And then, oh, Frankie's already worked out where the food is, but there's none. So we will have to top up the little food for him. Her. But look what she's got now. All this space to explore. It's going to be so crazy for her. She's never had that before. So the final thing that I will need to sort out at some point is the money situation. Because right now, these guys still have all of um, Emily and Taylor's money. Which Emma specifically left for Faith. 
So I will transfer that back over at some point, but I think at first we figure out whether we like this new setup or not. And they now have the butler. They actually now have the butler, you guys. So we'll have to rehire a butler for uh, Emily and Taylor. But I think in the meantime, these guys will quite like having a butler of their own. So I'm going to go ahead and just claim this bed for um, Luna. And I will claim this bed here for a little rider. And then I'm kind of keen for these guys to sort of get to know each other a little bit. So I think they should play this little space bit together. And then here they are in their brand new house. How crazy is that? Why don't you go and fill this up, little Roxaroo, for little Frank Reno. And then you actually still need to get your uh, guitar to level eight. So I'm gonna see if, just make sure she can actually reach this little guitar here. And then the other thing you guys pointed out is that because Frankie was an adoption cat, he is actually spayed, or he should be he should be spayed, although <laughs> this kind of makes me think otherwise. So I think what I'm going to get Jessie to do is just go ahead. Oh, look how cute they are. Bring cute little Frankie to the vets so that we can see if he is spayed or not. And if he isn't, if he isn't, then I don't understand. Maybe him and uh, her... And Mojo just not meant to be together, but if they, if she is, then it means we can introduce them and try and encourage them to do a little mate again. I don't know if you can do it with cats that aren't part of the household, but regardless of that, we'll give it a go. So I'm gonna go ahead and travel with Frankie, and what I actually think I'm gonna do this time is because the vet was like such a state last time, the, the vet that's owned by Kira. I'm gonna say it's because Kira wasn't working, you guys. I'm actually gonna go ahead to Brindleton Bay and we are going to try out the other vets. Brindleton Pospital. Pospital, wow. I just want to see what this vet is like. See how this one runs instead. And we'll give this one a go. Have some of my peach juice while I'm waiting. I have a lot of peach juice today. Check this out. So I have these two as well. We're running low on peach juice. And I wanted to make sure that I, I could have all the peach juice. <laughs> so I bought it all. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, wow. This is why our, our, our vets is doing so well. Kira's brought little mojo here. And they're here instead. Like, what? No wonder your vets ain't doing so well. <gasps> Sign Frankie in for a spade. Guys, Frankie isn't spayed. I'm going to get in a little her a little checkup. But she isn't actually spayed, you guys. Okay, so we're getting little Frankie examined. Just to make sure, you know, everything is working down there. She looks very, very concerned for herself. Little cutie pie. I mean, this vet doesn't seem to be... Wow. She just like... Eh, and then she didn't even examine... Poor little Frankaroo. Ah. I think the uh, careers mod, you guys are right, is definitely messing with my mod. Uh, sorry, is messing with my vet stuff. It's a little bit annoying because I like having the additional careers and I'm not going to change them. Okay, I'm just not going to change them. <gasps> oh my gosh, why am I not getting fished? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, Frankie is as fit as a fiddle. Let's get a preventative shot then. Annoying. Just to make sure she doesn't get sick anytime soon. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> and then why don't we go and bring a little Frankaroo? It's just down the road. I probably don't need to travel. We could probably just walk there, but still. Let's go over here and go and visit these guys. One, so that we can go and see, you know, our cute little... Little uh, granddaughter, little Carrie for Jessie is obviously her granddaughter, and also so we can try and get Mojo and Frankie to you know become close. Oh look, I think Kira's feeling a little bit stressed about the kids, so she can go ahead, cheer up the parent, offer some gratitude to her, and just make sure she's in a good place, you know? Because having toddlers is pretty tough, you guys. Oh, Kira's like running inside; she's so distraught. She is not in a good mood at all. Oh, she's being. Good mummy though. She's Gosh, making her no. feel a little bit better. Cutie pies. You guys really don't like Kira's hair, but I like it, okay? And then Frankie has decided to go all the way down to the beach. I don't know if she's chasing seagulls or she's like fully wanting to be an outdoor cat now. Where is she going? Oh, she's off to go eat some fish. Okay. Can I not like encourage her to like say hello to Mojo? Can we even see Mojo? Mojo goes out ex exploring quite a lot, so potentially we might not be able to. <gasps> and then I just went upstairs to check on the kiddaroos. Look what this little absolute minx Noelle has done. She's smashed up the whole of that. But at least Carrie's asleep, not causing trouble. And Jessie's just taking the opportunity just to like, I know you're asleep, little one. But I just wanted to give you a little kiss, okay? Oh, look, she's now friends with Mojo. So I wonder if this gives us the option to encourage to mate or not. I can't see any options do it yet. 
Maybe it's Mojo that spayed you guys. Okay, let's see if we get the option. I'm really close because Evie's decided to come and sit behind me. Let's see if we get the option to encourage. Oh my gosh, guys, it's finally happened. Okay, encourage to mate with Mojo. Where are we? Where are we? This will be a first, you guys. What do you reckon? Do you want to do some mating? She's like, what? What am I learning about right now? What is going on? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Oh, oh, the kitty cats are there together. What happens now? They're sniffing. They're sniffing the air of each other a little bit, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. It's some kind of mating dance. Some sort of ritual is happening. Frankie is a lot bigger than Mojo, but Frankie's a Siberian cat. And they're pretty big. I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't really call that mating. Does that mean it was unsuccessful? I mean, Mojo looks terrified, to be honest. T so scared that she's, he's glitched through the stairs and, and disappeared. Frankie has recently just mated. Wait a day to see if they're successful. Okay, apparently it worked, you guys. Apparently it did actually work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brighten some people's days and then head off into the sunset and see if we have kittens on the way. <gasps> oh no, you guys, look, she's got pet rejection from encouraged to mate. Jessica's encouragement did not work. Ah, she got rejected, you guys. She also just wanted to quickly try and... Because Carrie woke up again. Carrie was in the wrong bed, actually, all along. But I wanted to, since Carrie was up again, put her in the right bed. And then let Jessie get the chance to bond with her a little bit. Look how cute she is. Some of you guys liked a new eyes. Some of you didn't. I think they're cool and unusual. And the only time I've ever seen anybody with the heterochromia, they actually had one green eye and one brown eye. And honestly, when they covered one and the other eye, they look like two totally different people. I think it's really cool. And she just wants to spend a little bit of time with this little cutie beanie. So she is doing a little read to sleep with her. Because, of course... Uh, Carrie is her grandchild because Kira is her adopted daughter. So there you go. Look at skipping through the pages. Oh, wow. This one's had enough. She's like, your storytelling is rubbish and bad and you should feel bad, okay? Oh, guys, I've got the option to encourage to mate again once more. Should we see if it works again? Last time it didn't, but look, she's got the love hearts coming out of her mouth. Are you embarrassed? Did it not work again? Pray? She's off to go praise Mojo? I can't tell if it's working or not, you guys. Pet mating is a very confusing concept I'm finding. Mojo's sat here, like, waiting. Sniff in the air. Sniff in the air. Maybe Mojo is the one that's rejecting her, you guys. Okay, she's not got the embarrassed thing anymore. So I guess now it's down to these two. Oh, 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 oh. Is that, is that a good sign or a bad sign? I can't tell. I can't tell. As if cats weren't as confusing enough in real life. They're even more confused on The Sims. Oh, sad. They rejected each other again, you guys. Oh, it's not going so well. Oh my gosh, she's been here all night. Luna and Ryder have school in an hour, but she's good friends with Mojo now, which I'm thinking could be what we need. So I'll try one last time, you guys. <gasps> Although Merlin is around now as well. Mojo, Mojo, if you're not interested, then maybe Merlin will be, okay? I can't believe we're gonna miss little Luna going to school for the first time. All for cat mating. I kind of get the vibe though that they don't like each other very much. Maybe it's because Frankie is so much bigger. I don't know, but maybe it might go a little bit better this time, you guys. At least Mojo's liking us more. Okay, what do you guys think of this situation, though? I can't, I can't see any mating going on. Mojo's doing some very teeny tiny little taps. Does that mean no? I'm kind of feeling like that means no, you guys. They just, look, rejection again. These cats just do not want to mate with each other. Oh, this pet is already pregnant. <gasps> Frankie's pregnant! Yay! Okay, now we can head home. Oh god, you guys can go home now, okay? <gasps> We've missed Luna going to school though, you guys. Okay, study hard at school. Both of you do a little study hard today, okay? I'm kind of reluctant to make Luna make too many friends at school because I don't want her to draw too much attention to herself. We need to be a little bit careful with her, you guys. Okay, so we're home and apparently this one is pregnant. Let's give her a little brushing. And let's give her a little kiss just to say, you know, well done on the whole kitten situation. That's pretty awesome. Can't wait to see some kittens. There'll be a mixture of Siberian. But Mojo is a moggy, so he's like, he's not a breed. But he's still a really cute little ginger TV tabby cat. So I am excited. I am excited to see what these little kittens are going to look like. They could look like a real little mix, you guys. I hope they get them that Frankie's floofiness, though, because she's a little uh, Siberian. Okay, Jessie. 
Roxy is at home. Roxy is feeling inspired by dancing away in Ryder's room. Okay then. If you're so inspired, I think you should take the opportunity to go and write yourself a mournful lament. I don't know what that even means. But go and do that on your guitar. And then Jesse, why don't you go ahead? It's very hidden. We can only just see it in here. Ooh, do a little dig there first. <gasps> and go and start your build of the rocket ship. Oh, you do have work in an hour. And you're pretty hungry. You can eat at work. You're fine. I need to send it to work on her own as well because we've been doing so much rocket shipping at work. Her work performance is actually pretty bad. The Levy has stayed with me. She never usually stays with me on this chair. I don't know if you can see her. Here she is. She's so cute and baby, aren't you? <gasps> During his free time, Ryder drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. It showed a lot of giggling and disrupted the rest of the school day. The thing is, we actually do encourage creativity in this household, so... I'm sorry, teachers! Ryder is a creative genius! You just have to accept it. And we're gonna send Jessie to work alone. Oh, and then everybody seems to be talking to a birthday party that Luna wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was a friend, so it doesn't make any sense. I'm really sorry, Luna. Usually, I would definitely always... Is he leaving me? Don't leave me. Put your little head in on here. There you go. Go sheepy. Lay down. There you go. Usually I would definitely encourage her to ask the friend, but because Luna's a bit of a special case, I am gonna say, let it go, Luna. Who needs a friend like that anyway? Okay, so Jessie's off at work, Roxy's at home, playing some really beautiful, beautiful but kind of sad sort of guitaring skills there. Gorgeous, gorgeous guitaring. We really want her to get promoted though, because you know, the, uh, the outfit she wears to work really distresses me. She also needs to write four songs. This is good because this is adding to her little songwriting ability. <gasps> and oh my gosh, look at the bills we have to pay. £19,000. The thing is, I don't mind paying that out of the existing Dreamhouse funds because that will have been spent like before we ever got to the Dreamhouse. So Frankie, you must be pretty excited to have a whole garden too. Okay. Probably not so excited for the whole garden to explore. Frankie's a lazy little fatty cutie pie and she doesn't really care too much about exploring. Listen, can you hear her purring in her sleep? <laughs> She's also pregnant though, you guys. So, you know, she needs a little bit of a relax. One other thing I was actually planning to get for the garden, which I'm gonna go ahead and get, is this backyard observatory. Again, we can kind of hide it in the trees a little bit. But I thought it might be, if Luna can use it, I'm not sure if she'll be able to until she's actually... Oh, she can! I thought little Luna could use it as a way to kind of look into the stars and feel like she's still connected to our home worlds. We do want to make sure that because Earth is so different to what she's used to, that she does feel at home. We're still on a trial basis with Luna. Roxy hasn't given it the final sign off yet. She is just waiting and making sure that this is the right approach because, you know, this will be their third child. They've had their own natural child, Ryder, and they've had um, Kira, their adopted child. Adopting an alien is kind of a different sort of thing altogether. So, like, Roxy does need to sign it off. That's why they're trying out the dream house, you guys. Luna and Ryder have returned home from school. Luna has returned home being a little bit bored as well. Maybe, you know, human school's not quite as interesting as alien school. But now that she's back home again, she can go ahead and remove her disguise. I know the butler might see, but if only the butler sees, it's not the end of the world. I think when she's at home, she should have the ability to kind of be a little alien if she wants to be. And then I also think we should let her have this ability to observe the sky. Look at this. It's even got little drawings on it. How cute is that? I think definitely she should get the chance to have a look back into the home worlds. See if she can see any of the places that she left behind in her little sky observatory. So there we go, you guys. She's looking very intently at this tree at the moment. We can hear a little alien voice. Listen. <gasps> there you go. And I think she's definitely going to like the fact that we've bought that for her, you guys. She's in awe of the cosmos. Bless her. That should help with her boredom from school. And she's feeling pretty focused about it all as well. Meanwhile, Ryder's upstairs in his room doing what Ryder does best. Listen to some music and do some drawing because he is our little creative bud. He's drawing himself a little digger at the moment, which is pretty cool. He's added lots of glitter on there. Bad for the environment, Ryder, okay? And some noodle doodles, okay. Oh no, look, the butler has changed as seems to always happen in this house. 
We've got the other butler back. I think she's called Jamie now. But I don't mind. She's checking on my child, so I can I can accept that. Oh, wow. Look at his little drawing. It's so good. Well done. I love how great he is at art. I don't mind that we... It's annoying that we've lost some of our other pictures, but... Hey, you're still in a good mood for drawing. Why don't you draw some shapes? We can just create a new montage at this house instead. And actually, we can combine it with Claire's drawings. This is what you want to aspire to, Ryder. Claire was a really, really good artist by the end of it. She's painted stuff all around the house. And a lot, a lot of these pictures are hers too. This right here is the last thing Claire ever painted. It was a beautiful, beautiful place that Jessie told her that she visited. So that's the last thing she painted. It's too sad. It's too sad. <gasps> Congratulations, a collectible print of the sky has been added to Luna's inventory. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay, we can go hang that in her room. Some more spacey stuff for her room, which is just, oh wow. <gasps> oh my gosh, where can we put that? That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> we can hang that there and it's got a little bit about it. Star-crossed lovers, lovers, this fantasy painting captures the mythical union of a crystal rock formation with a sizzling comment. Comment, comment. Theirs was a love affair that defined gravity, physics, and well, probably several other laws. No one thought it would last, in fact, it didn't. But at least it burned out before it faded away. And that will give her a focusing mood. <gasps> I didn't realize you could get stuff like that from observing the sky. That's really cool. How funny will it be? Mental level three. If she actually gets abducted by aliens from using that. Because she's already an alien. So that's kind of funny. She wants to be a, a whiz kid. So she needs to play three games of chess and read with an adult for two hours. And this little one, uh, Ryder, needs to play an instrument for a total of five hours. I was kind of thinking it would be quite cool if, um, I mean, Roxy's still practicing her song, but I think it'd be cool if Roxy could teach him how to play the piano. Jessie's come home from work super, super tired, but she has cooked everybody some chili. What is quite cool is this is like a proper return to where she grew up and where she was a little, she was a little toddler sat at the end of that table one day. With, with Claire and Ali. This is so too sad, this episode. Roxy just finished writing a song. What would you like to name it? I think we would want to call it um, Ode to Jesse. There we go. So these two little pies have had a nice evening of building on their own little skill sets. And I think Ryder's kind of gotten over the fact that she's an alien now. I think he's kind of uh, he's kind of intrigued by her. Let's do a little wave to her. How cute is that? Oh, her son's so cool. And I kind of like that he's got somebody that he can hang out with and chat with at home. Someone that's very different from himself. Uh, they're very cute, aren't they? His mum went to space and found him a new best friend. Oh. <gasps> and somebody whose eyes are actually as crazy and cool looking as his. Look at that, little pie is so sweet. Oh my gosh, a little bit crazy though. <gasps> oh my gosh, Frankie has gone into labor. I mean, what what do I do? Do I, do I just stay here and watch him? Huh? <gasps> oh, she's panting, guys, she's panting. Is she just gonna like pop out some kittens on the floor? What is even gonna happen? <gasps> <gasps> what is that? Is that noise mean that kittens are coming? What do I do? What do I do? Do I have to take her to the vets? Frankie is running away. She will make her way home eventually, but post it. Frankie's not running away. Frankie's right here. Oh my gosh, does one of us need to wake up and check on Frankie? Frankie, where are you going? I thought you were having kittens. I'm so confused by what's happening right now. It can't be because we weren't giving her attention because Jessie's been given a loads of attention. Do they just leave to have kittens? I'm so confused. I am so confused. Guys, Frankie is leaving us. Frankie is full on left. Oh, Charlie Rose is running by there. Frankie is as full on left, missing my furry, furry friend. <gasps> what the hell? One minute it's like kittens, kittens, kittens. The next minute it's the... the Poor little cat is gone. Okay, let's go and post an alert for her. Post alert about our missing pet. Oh, guys, look. Okay. Jessie's super <laughs> bummed about her leaving. I don't... Does, does that mean we don't get the kittens? I want my kittens. Oh, Jessie kittens. <gasps> You've got school in 50 minutes. You need to change your disguise, okay? You can't let people know that you're an alien at school. They won't understand. There you go. Oh, Roxy's crying in the bath about Frankie. <gasps> You guys, what? I don't understand what's supposed to happen. Pet missing. 
Where's my kids? Hi, Selma. Oh my gosh, I just realized I bought a piano. And there's a piano right there. Oh, did I forget we had a piano in the hallway? What a spoon! And she named a new song. I'm gonna call it What a Spoon. Oh my gosh, the kids are back. Oh, did you see her hair then? Are back home from school and they actually have an option to ask Is Frankie ever coming home? How sad is that? She's only been on Earth for a little while and she's already learning that it can be a cruel mistress. Look, little Ryder can teach Luna to be um, a little bit more human as well by discussing human foods with her. I think her like human form is like super cute as well. You can kind of tell she's still an alien. She's still got a quite an angular face. But she's super, super cute and sweet. Little Ryder, however, has met a new girl at school today who is little. She's called Cecilia. Um, it got a notification to say they'd met for the first time today, so she's come out to hang out with them as well. Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't- I thought they were having a little argument there, but they're actually having a little chit-chat together. She's not staying still enough for me to look at her, but she's a super cute little girl as well. Look at her! However, because we've got a friend home from school, it means that Luna isn't allowed to change into her- <gasps> Oh my gosh! Frankie just gave birth to a kitten! What would you like to call her? So Frankie's gone off somewhere and given birth to a kitten? But we've never even seen her. We don't know what she looks like. She's like the little missing kitten that we don't know where she is. I'm gonna call her Anastasia. Anastasia, because I don't know where on earth she is. And then I guess she's a calorie. Oh no, she's a jet. This family are all the jets, so she is a little jet. But how weird is that? Is it just one kitten? Another kitten? This one's a boy. What could you call a missing boy? Uh, I'm gonna call him Hurley after the character on Lost. See where I'm going with this, guys? There's a theme for this kitten litter. Two kittens. <gasps> so there's two kittens somewhere? <gasps> you guys, they've returned home. Oh my gosh, Frankie's returned home really, really gross. But look at that. Two cute little kittens. We've got little Anastasia. And we've got little Hurley. They're slightly different. One of them is a lot bigger than the other. Anastasia is a little one. Obviously, Hurley's going to be the big one. If you guys have never watched Lost, Hurley is a bit of a bigger character in Lost. So this is little Hurley, the little fatty bum bum with uh, yellow eyes. And then here is pretty little Anastasia with her little green eyes. So guys, we have kittens. Do we keep them? Or do we give them away? Let me know what you think we should do. Meanwhile, these three are kind of hanging upstairs. I've asked the cats to come and join them. But this is little Cecilia who... This is the first girl um, that Ryder's ever brought home from school. And she is super cute. She is very cute. But it means that this little Luna, she can't change out of her alien form into her alien form while we've got company. So she's kind of trapped being a human while we've got little Cecilia here. Okay, I think we're gonna have to carry the kittens inside, aren't we? Because they're not gonna be able to get up and down the steps. So do you wanna go and pick up little Anastasia, Ryder? And Luna, do you wanna go and pick up little Hurley? And we're gonna have to bring those cats inside. And little Jesse should be overjoyed that this one has come home. Go and say hello to Frankie, he's returned to you, okay? So it's quite cool that there were two kittens born because it's almost like the kids got a kitten each. And kind of almost in a way like, yes, you should keep Luna because look, she's now got a kitten. Meanwhile, Jessie, that was so sad, has now got little Ryder home. She's got to be happy oh, no. there. Yeah. She seemed the saddest Aww. out of everyone. But now her little kitty cat has returned to her. And she's like, oh, he's a little bit smelly, you guys. He's definitely in need of a bath after running away from home. But she's just giving him a hug. Look at that. She's so happy to have him back again. Okay, it's probably going to be the worst welcome back present ever. Oh, can we not give him a bath? Or maybe you can't give cats baths. Okay, the cat's probably going to like that. <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you entertained? Have a sim reach the max of the entertainment career. <gasps> Roxy's been promoted to concert. Concert? She's still got the stupid outfit on. God's sake, she does. Concert Virtuoso. She makes $340 per hour and she's got a huge bonus, a rock legend signed guitar and new clothes. Wow. Oh, and look at this, you guys. Luna is absolutely loving the fact that she's now got a little kitten companion to play with. And Cecilia just left, so we can get her to switch into her little, well, remove her disguise, not, not add a disguise. 
Roxy, I'm gonna have to ask you to switch out of that outfit because I hate it so much. Oh, and that rider is playing with the other kitten, you guys. The little one is Anastasia. And the big one, or little Anna, we can call her. And then the big little chubster is little Hurley. And everybody's back home again, yay! So she's back in her little alien form, you guys. And it seems like she's kind of taking a shine to little Hurley. Whereas little Ryderoo over here is sort of taking a little bit of a shine to Anastasia. Which I like, and I do think the one... Oh, look at these two. The one kitten each is as big a sign as ever that Luna should be here to stay. It's the first ever, like, interaction, really, with a baby, um, human, well, a, a baby human, it's not baby human, a baby earthling animal, and I think she's definitely liking her, you guys, which is really good. So I think it's now that Jessie has to ask Roxy, can we keep Luna? Can we keep her, please, please, please? She's so cute. Can we please keep her around? And is she gonna agree? I think she's like... Fine, we can keep her. Jess is like, I'll, be, I'll, I'll keep a good eye on her, don't worry. Oh, and I think that definitely means that little Luna is here to stay. Along with two new little scamperoonie kittens. One of them just went actually under the sofa as I said that. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, they're playing together. Look at them. How cute is that? So, guys, we've got a brand new alien. Little Luna, she is going to be staying. She is here to stay. Frankie ran away from home, but then luckily she returned, and she returned with two little kittens, Hugo and Anastasia. Let me know what you think about the kittens, and if you like their little names, inspired by the fact that they were lost for a little while. This is little Tubster Hugo. He's loud and he's super cute. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Dreamhouse. If you did, give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much.